Hey guys, what's going on? Lane back for another Netflix review, and today I'm going to be talking about Coven of Sisters. Coven of Sisters is a period drama slash psychological thriller that's set in the medieval Basque period in Spain in the early 17th century. And I apologize in advance if I'm saying the word Basque or Basque completely incorrectly. As I've said in previous videos, I am absolutely terrible when it comes to pronouncing foreign words. The movie centers around these six girls who live in the same community in rural Spain. I don't remember the name of the community it's supposed to take place in, but anyway, these six girls are just minding their own business. They're singing and laughing, they're having a great time, and then all of a sudden, Sudden, this inquisitor comes with his knights and the girls are rounded up one by one and they're sent off to jail. The reason why these girls are sent to jail in the first place is because their neighbors strongly suspect them to be engaging in witchcraft in the woods near where they live. And one by one as these girls are rounded up and sent to jail we see all kinds of terrible things happening to them usually in the form of torture and physical abuse as the inquisitors try to get the girls to spill the truth as to which one of them or hopefully all of them in their eyes are going to reveal their identities as witches. And as you might expect from this sort of story, the girls proclaim their innocence, saying that they're not witches, but the Inquisitors are not satisfied by their answers, and they continue to raise the stakes as they try to get the truth from them. I'll admit, I thought that the movie was going to go into a more horror-like vibe with the story. Whenever you generally hear of a movie that's about witches, or some kind of sorcery that's involved, in this day and age anyway, it usually has some sort of horror vibe attached to it. This movie is quite scary, but not in terms in terms of blood and guts or jump scares or any type of cliche you may associate with a regular horror movie. Rather, it's scary because of how accurately it shows the persecution of women in the time that it takes place in. It accurately depicts the degree of hysteria that was going on in Spain at the time when inquisitors were traveling all across the country to try and seek out heretics and try to get them out of the country just because their views didn't properly align with traditional Judeo-Christian beliefs. Even though the Inquisition and all the things relating to witchcraft happened several centuries ago and aren't really relevant to today's day and age, thankfully. I still felt that there were a lot of things that happened in this movie in the time period that it portrayed specifically that I think are still relevant today. It really is a shame that women were so easily accosted and persecuted for having these so-called beliefs even though many of them didn't have them to begin with. And the movie does a great job in representing the period that it takes place in, especially with regards to the women and how they're treated in this movie. The women get told not to look at other men in the room, just to basically avert their gaze by looking down. They often get their clothes torn off. Off, they're just generally treated like objects or property rather than the people that we would recognize them as today. For me, the best parts of this movie by far was whenever the Inquisitor Rostegi, I think his name was, starts interrogating the girls one by one and he does it in the most calm manner that you wouldn't expect a man in his position to be. All the knights and all the other people associated with the Inquisitors act rough with the girls and they're very unfriendly and very hostile towards them. But this Inquisitor is very different from them just in terms of personality. He really does live up to the name of an Inquisitor. Whenever he has the girls up in the room where he interrogates them in, he constantly asks them questions one after the next, and he always tries to insinuate things. He's always trying to find little Freudian slips and things like that whenever the girls are speaking so that he can try and get the information that he wants to hear come from their mouths. They could have easily made him out to be this really bad and aggressive villain that just wants to have his way with with women, but I'm glad that they didn't do that with this movie. There's no instances of rape or any sort of sexual assault that's taking place. What Rostegi wants out of these girls is purely related to the job that he's hired to do. And like I said, he's very calm and collected in how he addresses himself to the girls, to the point that I started to feel that he believed more in witchcraft than the girls did. He just seemed to have this real morbid fascination with the occult, and it seemed more like he wanted to indulge his own curiosities while putting the blame on others at the same time. Everything about this movie centers around the girls, of course, and how they want to get out of jail and escape execution. However, it's the girls' words against the villagers, and there's more villagers in the community, so the Inquisitors side with the villagers in that respect. I don't remember the names of all the girls in this movie. I think Anna was the lead character of the group, and she's the one that comes up with the idea of staging a fake ritual in the woods so that she and the girls can eventually plot their escape. Anna does this because she knows, based on her meetings with the Inquisitor, that he needs to see the Sabbath for himself, the visual evidence of one taking place, so that he can charge the girls as being witches. And so the rest of the girls go along with it, and they begin to play all kinds of tricks on the guards and the Inquisitors to try and get them to believe that they are witches, and obviously this doesn't please the Inquisitors one bit. I remember 
there was one scene where one of the girls was being carried out of the jail cell and she's making these moaning noises like she's making love with the devil and she's doing that on purpose to antagonize the guards and she keeps getting progressively louder in the noises that she makes but the noises eventually progress from pleasure to pain and then you can just see the terror develop on the girls faces as it's all unraveling on camera. This movie is a masterclass just in terms of sheer atmosphere. Although I was initially disappointed that this movie wasn't a horror to begin with and I'm not really a fan of period pieces in general, I absolutely love the atmosphere in this movie. From the periods of silence between the Inquisitor and the girls, to the shadows that are dotting all over the castle, and then of course just how dirty and grimy the movie looks. It really felt like I was a fly in the wall in 17th century Spain. To say anything more about individual moments that take place in the story would be spoiling it, so I'm not going to go into much more detail other than the fact that the Sabbath scene that does take place at the end was 100% well done. I loved it. My only gripes that I have with this movie is that there's not much personality to the characters other than Anna, and the reason why Anna stands out is simply because she's the leader. Everyone else just kind of follows along and does what she says. We don't really know anything about their family history or what kind of personality they have as people. One of the girls is kind of sarcastic in a way and then one of the girls is a teenager as opposed to being a full-grown adult but other than that that's it. That and we just don't know that much about the community outside the castle walls. We don't know anything about what's going on in the community or how they're reacting to the whole witchcraft thing that's going on. We just don't know anything about the community itself and why they were so quick to judge the girls as being witches without any visual evidence. This being said though, I think this goes hand in hand with the overall theme of the persecution of women. Just the fact that a lot of the time back then I would imagine that it was a man's word against a woman's. And back then, a man's word was rule and law. So even though I would have liked to see more of the community in this movie and how they came to the conclusion that those six girls were supposedly witches, I ultimately do understand the reasoning behind why they didn't show more. I really enjoyed watching this movie, guys. I was very surprised at its overall quality because normally with period pieces, I'm usually bored to tears and fall asleep. I'm just not really interested in those old time periods, but this one, I could not get enough of. This movie actually inspired me to look up more information about the Spanish Inquisition and how truly terrible of a period in human history it really was. All I knew about the Inquisition before this movie was basically through jokes associated with Monty Python or something like that. I truly didn't know how awful of a period it was until I saw this movie. And I think this movie does a great job at showing just how hysterical of a time it really was. And I definitely don't mean that in a funny kind of way. I am really glad that we don't live in this period to history anymore. But I'm also glad that this movie exists because it serves as a reminder of just how we need to treat other people, men or women. If you're a fan of occult-based movies and you're tired of dealing with cliche horror movies that are too focused on the supernatural, you absolutely have to check out this movie. It is a masterstroke in terms of balancing drama and thrills while also serving as a reminder of a brutal history that needs to stay buried where it belongs. Anyways guys, that's gonna wrap up my review of Coven of Sisters. Thanks for watching this review, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, stay tuned for the next part, where next time I review the family comedy, Yes Day. Bye bye!